Have any of your friends or family members suffered from obesity? That makes them difficult to walk or do work. I believe you haven't seen the world's fattest people. From a guy whose weight was 1071 pounds, who could walk without the need of assistance, to a person whose weight was 1120 pounds and lost 700 pounds. Today we are looking at 10 fattest people you won't believe exist. Michael Hebranko. There are not any stories like Michael Hebranko, an American man born in 1953 who suffered from obesity and his heaviest weight was 1120 pounds. His obesity eventually killed him. When he was 907 pounds he started dieting and working out. Within 19 months he dropped his weight from 907 to 178 pounds and waist size from 110 inches to 36 inches. He lost 700 pounds, breaking the Guinness World Record in 1990 for the highest recorded weight loss. After that, he started touring the world lecturing on a healthy lifestyle. But his healthy lifestyle didn't last long. Unfortunately, within seven years he regained weight up to 1100 pounds. Sadly he passed away due to his morbid obesity. Walter Hudson. Walter Hudson was born in 1944 and was the holder of the Guinness World Record for the largest waist in the world, measuring 119 inches. At that time his weight was 1197 pounds. Walter Hudson got famous when he got stuck in his bathroom door and had to be extricated by the fire department and ambulance crews. At that time his weight was estimated 1400 pounds. The expert estimated his weight because he was so fat the weighing machine didn't handle him and the weighing machine broke down at 1000 pounds. Since kid, he was a fat child. At the age of 12, he was 200 pounds. But how did he go from 200 to 1400 pounds? His whole life turned when he fell and broke his leg at age 12. This injury left him bedridden which led to a sedentary lifestyle and overeating. Within months he gains 100 pounds. At age 13 he weighed 300 pounds. From that day he never left his home again. He becomes so lazy that he spends his whole time eating, watching movies, listening to gospel music, and talking on the telephone, but mainly especially eating. His diet was on a whole new level, in breakfast he eat a dozen eggs, a pound of bacon, a loaf of bread with grape jelly, 32 sausages, and a pot of coffee. For lunch, he used to eat a pile of fried potatoes, two large sandwiches, and a large bottle of soda. For average dinner he used to eat a half dozen cobs of corn, five ham steaks, half dozen potatoes, apple pie, and a bottle of soda. Sadly in 1991, on Christmas Eve he passed away at the age of 46. To take his body out of the house, police broke down a door and removed the wall. At that time he was so heavy police brought a forklift to take his body out of the house. For the first time in a quarter of a century, he finally left his home. Manuel Urub. Mexican man Manuel Urub was born on June 11, 1965, and suffered from morbid obesity to one of the greatest extents known in recorded history. In 2006, he won Guinness World Record for the world's heaviest man, weighing 560 kilograms. For more than six years he hasn't left his bed and married his longtime girlfriend, named Claudia Solis, on October 26, 2008. Despite his big weight, she married her long-term boyfriend. This is called true love. But this love has a sad ending. After six years of marriage, in 2014, at the age of 48, he passed away. Ronnie Brower. 30-year-old Ronnie Brower lost 425 pounds in 714 days. Before the workout, his weight was 700 pounds. When he was fat he was unable to walk and used to wear a 9x shirt. In an interview, he said I reached a point where I was limited to the four walls of my bedroom, and doctors told me that I would be dead by the age of 30, which made my mother full of tears in her eyes. I was so depressed that I made a Facebook post saying I hate my life and wanted to change. One day his whole life changed when he listens to his favorite pop star Taylor Swift song and got the inspiration he needed. He started working out in strict diet by listening to Taylor Swift's song, which helped him to lose 425 pounds. He said, when he was fat, he never dreamed he would marry the women of his dream. But his dream came true when he met his 24-year-old fiancée Andrea Masella in the same gym hall he used to work out. At that time she was also on her weight loss journey. Together they have lost a combined 578 pounds. Martin Keith. British man Martin Keith was once recognized as the world's fattest man. 
at that time his weight was 980 pounds. He used to consume about 20,000 calories a day, which include takeaway foods, dinner with pizza, six egg fried breakfasts, 3.5 liters of coffee, and 2 liters of carbonated drinks every day. When he was a kid he has a normal weight and used to enjoy playing and cycling. But after his mother passed out, when he was 16 he went into depression, agoraphobia, and anxiety. Soon after his mother died he left school and started eating and drinking whatever he liked, which caused his eating habit. Years of this lifestyle made him the world's fattest person in Britain. For several years he hasn't left his bed. In 2001, his weight resulted in him being taken to hospital, it was the first time he left his bed after many years. To take him to the hospital a specialist team used $115,000 adopted ambulance designed. Sadly he passed away at the age of 44. He's the UK's heaviest man. Robert Worrell Hughes. Robert Worrell Hughes is an American man born on June 4, 1926. At that time he was the heaviest person in the world, weighing 1071 pounds. He is the only heaviest person in the world who was able to walk without the need for assistance. When he was only 20 years old, his weight was 720 pounds, and at 7 he weighed 225 pounds. The cause of his big body was, when he was a child he suffered from whooping cough, which damaged his pituitary gland and caused him to grow uncontrollably. His condition was so rare that there was no care for him. Sadly he passed away at the age of 32. Samantha Mason When Samantha Mason first appeared on the show, named My 600 Pound, at that time her weight was 940 pounds. When she was only five years old her parents got divorced because her father was abusive and alcoholic towards her mother, which causes her food addiction. When she was age 12 her weight was 297 pounds. She dropped out of school at age 17 and started dating, but soon got pregnant. She gave birth and named her Bella, but reached 500 pounds. They soon break up and she became a single mother. Her father passed away and she became depressed. She started eating more and more leaving her daughter at her mother's house. On October 2020, she lost 320 pounds after going through weight loss surgery. Mitchie Lettleman. Mitchie Lettleman was once hold the title of Guinness Book Record as the world's fattest man, born in New York, in 1964. At that time his weight was 540 kilograms. He suffered from obesity for most of his life. When he was 7 years old his weight was 154 pounds. Because of his big weight, he left school at 10. The reason was he couldn't fit into the desk. After that, he spends his whole day in bed. Every day he started his day eating 4 bowls of cereal, cake, toast, waffles, a whole pizza, a quarter of soda, and a snack. Mitchie Edelman got a lot of media attention when he fell from his bed and couldn't get up because of his huge weight. To move from his house rescue team needed 9 hours and needed a forklift. At the age of 28, 1992, he passed away. Patrick Duell. Patrick Duell is from America and is also known as the heaviest person in the world, measuring 1072 pounds. Many people called him a half-ton man. He hadn't left his bed for several years. But today, because of a strict diet and weight loss surgery, he has lost 512 pounds, half his weight. To transport him to the hospital expert had to break down the walls and had to bring a special ambulance. Now today he is around 560 pounds. Khalid bin Mohsen Shari. Khalid bin Mohsen Shari is from Saudi Arabia and he is the second heaviest living person in history, weighing 1345 kilograms. For treatment to remove him from his house, experts need to use a mechanized pulley and forklift. He hasn't left his bed for more than three years. He lost 700 pounds half his body weight after strict dieting and weight loss surgery. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.